Okay, this is my entry into the little challenge. I have a two coil system, motor coil, generator coil. The motor coil and the generator coil share no mutual inductive relation. They're completely independent of one another. The generator coil's resistance is 0.6 ohms. And we're looking at about 6.2 millihenries. So that's 6.2 millihenries at 0.6 ohms. I'm going to be using this small coil to uh, give me the frequency of operation. I'm going to keep the keep my distance between the rotor and that coil so as to not place a significant mechanical load on the rotor. All right. Let me start it up. Oh shit. Squished my finger. Stabilize at whatever speed it's going to stabilize at. Put the meter in. We might be pretty close. Okay, 49 hertz. Okay, so to re re uh, recap, we got 6.2 millihenries. 0.6 ohms and 49 hertz. And for those of you who are interested, this is the no load consumption. Right. 38 volts at 200 milliamps. A little over 7 watts. So, short it out. Accelerate. All right. Small fluctuation in consumption. 38 volts, 0.23, 230 milliamps, a little over 8 watts, one and a half watt increase. I can adjust that to it. It doesn't happen, but I'm not going to do it. Okay, and we open it back up. so there you have it the standard so far 6.2 millihenries 0.6 ohms 49 Hertz if you could do better if you can generate the effect using one generator coil with values 
lower than mine operating in a frequency lower than mine. I would love to see it. <laughs>